now pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together, you are all beautiful, Mary, and the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You give honor to our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us. Intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please all kneel for the Novena Prayer. O most pure Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, from the very first instant you were entirely immaculate. O glorious Mary, full of grace, you are the Mother of God, the Queen of angels and of men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen Mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords chose you for the singular grace and honor of being His beloved Mother. By the power of His cross, He preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by His power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me these requests. In silence, let us now mention our intentions. My Holy Mother, I know that you were obedient to the will of God. In making this petition, I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. So grant that I may receive God's grace with humility as you did. As my final request, I ask that you pray for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in love for the risen Jesus. Amen. Prayer for the day. O Blessed Virgin, my intercessor and benefactress before the throne of God, now that the end of this novena is near, I implore and ask you that your most holy will be realized in my life. I truly repent of all my sins, and I will confess them all, that I may become worthy of your graces, especially the grace to be with you in heaven forever. Through your intercession, O Mother, may I always obey the laws of God, and of Mother Church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Div Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother of Hope. Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. We shall now pray the Memorare. Remember, Remember O, o most, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known that, that anyone, anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. Let us pray Pope Francis' prayer to Mary Immaculate. Virgin most holy and immaculate, to you the honor of our people and our loving protector, do we turn with loving trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you there is no sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words. The song of charity resound in our works. Purity and chastity, 
abide in our hearts and bodies, and the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you the Word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy born of life with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days. The comforting power of hope direct our steps. The contagious warmth of love stir our hearts. And may our gaze be fixed on God, in whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayer. Graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts. And may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. In the name, the name of the, of the Father, Father, and of the, the Son, and, and of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. We shall now prepare ourselves for the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus, come to us with comforting words so that we may be strengthened to come back to Him whenever we are lost. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have shown forth your salvation to all the ends of the earth, grant, we pray, that we may look forward in joy to the glorious nativity of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. 
the rough country, a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. I answer, what shall I cry out? All flesh is grass and all their glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then, the people is the grass. Through the grass, though the grass withers and the flower wilts, the word of our God stands forever. Go up unto, unto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by his strong arm. Here is, re is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord our God comes with power. The Lord our God comes with power. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all your lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. The Lord our God comes with power. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord our God comes with power. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest rejoice. The Lord our God comes with power. They shall exalt before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord our God comes with power. Please stand. The day of the Lord is near. Behold, he comes to save us. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep 
and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search for the stray? And if he finds it, Amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, how do we treat the lost? Paano natin tinatrato ang mga naliligaw ng landas? Jesus, in our gospel reading today, teaches us how we must treat those who are lost, those who have gone astray. In our gospel reading today, Jesus teaches us not to hate them, not to discriminate against them, not even to condemn them, but Jesus teaches us to look for them, to comfort them, to strengthen them. Unfortunately, my dear brothers and sisters, many times when a person is lost, that is the time when we get angry at them. Minsan nawawala na nga kapag nakabalik na, napagalitan mo pa. Ikaw kasi kung saan saan ka nagpupunta, no? kaya nawawala ka. Minsan, siya na nga ang nawala, siya pa ang napagalitan at nasisi. And many times also, when a person is lost, that is the time when we take advantage of them. Kapag ang isang tao ay naliligaw at hindi niya alam, yan pa ang pagkakataon na inaabuso. Kalimbawa, dito na lang, kapag mayroong mga turista, kapag mayroong hindi taga lugar ninyo, ah, yan, mukhang hindi taga dito yan, no? I-charge natin ng mas mataas yan, no? O kaya, uh, lokohin natin yan, no? Iligaw natin. No? Yan ang pagkakataon na abusuhin natin ng isang tao when one is lost. Jesus teaches us today that a lost person needs comfort, guidance, and strength. Not anger, not condemnation, and not abuse from many of us. Madalas, kapag ang isang tao ay mahirap, walang pinag-aralan na mataas, hindi marunong minsan sa batas, yung makapangyarihan, sila ang inaabuso. Ah, tayo ang marunong sa batas, paikutin natin ang mahihirap na yan na hindi alam ang batas. Many times, when a person is lost, that is the time when the powerful abuses that person. But Jesus is different. When the sheep is lost, that is the time when the sheep, when the shepherd strengthens the sheep and comforts the sheep. That is why in our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the message of God is this, Comfort, give comfort to my people. Guide the people. Proclaim the good news to the people. Do not hate them. Do not give anger to them. And most especially, most importantly, do not abuse them. But to the weak, to the lost, 
give comfort and strength so that they may return safely to the fold, to the flock of the shepherd. Mga minamahal na kapatid, paano po ba natin tinatrato ang mga nawawala at naliligaw ng landas? Pinapagalitan ba natin? Sinisisi ba natin? Lalo ba natin silang inililigaw? Lalo ba natin silang hinihila pababa? Sabi ni Jesus, ang mga naliligaw ng landas ay sila dapat ang lalo pa nating minamahal, lalo pa nating hinahanap at lalo pa nating pinapakitaan ng awa ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded to treat the lost and the weary not with hate, anger, and condemnation, but with the comfort and strength of the love of God. Amen. Please stand. The Lord is the shepherd who knows each one of us by name. Let us offer our prayers to God, trusting in His personal love for us. For every petition, let us say, Divine Shepherd, hear us. Divine Shepherd, hear us. That the Church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, hear, hear us. us. That those who wandered away from the paths of righteousness hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, hear, hear us. That young people may hear the voice of our Lord calling them to conversion and to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. That all those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Hear our prayers and bless each one of us in the way you know best. May we follow wherever you lead us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. Nalalapit na po ang dakilang kapistahan ng Immaculada Concepcion sa darating po na Huwebes, December 8. Ang mga misa po dito sa Manila Cathedral sa araw ng kapistahan ng ating patrona, ang Immaculada Concepcion, ay 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. The 11 a.m. Mass will be our Fiesta Mass to be celebrated and presided by our beloved Archbishop, Jose Cardinal Advincula, concelebrated with the Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Charles Brown, and the priests of the Archdiocese of Manila. The feast day of the Immaculate Conception, since the Immaculate Conception is the principal patroness of the Philippines, it is a holy day of obligation, meaning that we are to attend Mass on December 8. Kaya po ginawang holiday siguro para makapagsimba po ang lahat. So since it is a holiday, Marami po sa atin, karamihan siguro ay walang pasok ang mga trabaho at opisina at eskwelahan. Sana po gamitin natin yung bakanting araw na ito, ilaan naman natin sa Diyos at sa ating mahal na ina. So please, encourage your families. Text your friends. Encourage your loved ones to attend Mass on this holy day of obligation, the feast day of Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception. And we will be very happy to see all of you here. This is the first church in the country dedicated to the Immaculate Conception. And so we will be happy to see all of you and welcome all of you to our mother church, the Manila Cathedral. And we are also very happy to bring back our practice since nito pong dalawang taon ng pandemic, hindi po namin nagagawa ito. During the feast day on December 8, we allow the people to come up here the sanctuary so that you could pray very near to the image of the Immaculate Conception. Dalawang taon po namin hindi ginawa ito because of the restrictions, but this year, we will allow the mass goers and the faithful to come up the sanctuary so that you could offer your prayers in front of the image of Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception. May we have a very fruitful celebration of this great feast of our patroness. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.